Hi, my name is Lloyd from electricsense.com uh, and I'd like to talk to you about um, how to determine uh, the levels, your, your exposure levels to electromagnetic fields. One of the peculiar things about EMFs is uh, you can't see them. It's not like uh, cigarette smoke which you can see, which you can smell in the air. Uh, electromagnetic fields uh, are totally invisible and they pass through everything um, pretty much, particularly particularly magnetic fields. So I have devised um, a very short uh, 25 question questionnaire to enable you to determine could you or your family be at risk from EMFs yeah? so that you can take corrective action uh, accordingly. So uh, there's four categories of, uh, five categories of question here um, cell phone radiation, your exposure to cell phone radiation, your exposure to computer radiation, your exposure in the home, and your exposure in the environment, in your environment. So firstly, your exposure to cell phone radiation. So the questions you need to ask to understand your, the, your level of risk. Do you press your cell phone against your head while talking? Do you talk for two hours or more per day on your cell phone? Do you carry your cell phone on your person when it is switched on, i.e. in standby mode, for most of the day? Do you talk on a cell phone in your car? Do you keep your cell phone close to your bed at night? Do you use Bluetooth wireless? Do you use your cell phone when the signal strength indicator is low? Do you use your cell phone for streaming more than two hours per day? In regards to your exposure to computer radiation, your questions, the questions you need to ask are the following. Do you use a computer for more than four hours per day? Does your computer monitor use a cathode ray tube, I mean one of the older versions? Does your um, computer have the Wi-Fi function enabled? Because you could actually be using it on the cable, but the Wi-Fi uh, the Wi-Fi transmitter could be working and therefore giving out um, uh, radiation. In your place of work, are you within two meters of other computers? Do you use a laptop rather than a desktop model? Do you use a laptop primarily on the mains power supply? Do you use a laptop computer or smartphone type device on your lap? As far as your exposure in the home, the questions you need to ask are the following. Do you remain near your microwave oven when it's switched on? And also a subsidiary question, have you had your microwave checked for the, to see if the door still, seals are still working? Is your home protected by a wireless burglar alarm? Do you have cordless phones installed in your house? Do you have a cordless phone next to your bed? Do you have Wi-Fi installed in your home? Do you or your children use wireless video gaming software like the Xbox 360 or the Wii or PlayStation 3? Exposure in your environment. The questions are the following. Is your home within 400 meters of a cell phone tower? Is your place of work within 400 meters of a cell phone tower? Are you surrounded by other homes with, or offices with Wi-Fi installed? So this questionnaire has obviously got its limitations and um, this is purely based on my own experience and understanding as an electrosensitive person um, with regard to electromagnetic radiation. So there's nothing scientific about it, although there are certain um, questions which do rely on science and the findings of, for instance, um, is your home within 400 meters of a cell phone tower? Those studies which have shown that your risks uh, are significantly uh, increased if you live within 400 meters of a cell phone tower. So there are um, some um, references to science in this, but it's mainly uh, my own experience, what I feel, and also what the testing I've done uh, with my with my meters. Um, so e use these questions to um, understand uh, and evaluate what your level of risks are. That's my advice. Take corrective action. Maybe go a step further uh, and. Um, buy yourself uh, an EMF meter um, so you can actually do some testing or rent one so you can do some, some testing um, around your home and uh, if you have any more questions then please don't hesitate to contact me my name is Lloyd 
at electricsense.com. Thank you.